Hey, what's going on, Guardians? My name is The Black Link, and today, or tonight rather, is September 20th, 2018. It's a Thursday, and you know what that means. It's time for the Bungie Weekly Blog, This Week at Bungie. And what a week it has been! We are almost one week out from the official launch of the Last Wish Raid. You Guardians know how big of a deal that was last week. It basically dominated the TWAB for that week, and we're certainly starting off with accolades from that in this week's TWAB. Bungie takes the time to talk a bit more about the world's first race, a new PvP game mode that's going to be dropping, a free Gambit weekend, and the slew of hotfixes that have gone into effect over the past couple of weeks. So let's go ahead and dive on into things. Now, first things first, we're starting off this TWAB by talking a bit about EGX. If you happen to be in Birmingham in the UK, you have a chance to go in tomorrow, Friday, September 21st, 2018, and Saturday, September 22nd, and meet some of the Bungie devs. They're going to have a Forsaken stand where you'll be able to play Gambit, and they're even going to be hosting a discussion panel on building the Dreaming City. It should be really interesting. That last part there, if you're a little more than walking distance from this convention, you can actually check it out on EGX's Twitch page at twitch.tv forward slash EGX. We'll have a link to that down in the description box below. I know personally, I cannot wait to see this panel. The Dreaming City has basically become my favorite world space in all of Destiny, and I really want to see the work that went on behind the scenes to create it. So be sure to tune in there at the Twitch channel if you want to check that stuff out. But moving on from there, we learn a bit more about the race to topple Riven within the Last Wish Raid. We actually get a little bit of a statement from Clan Redeem, who did take home the titles of World's First last week. And it's pretty cool that they get this nod in the TWAB, congratulating them on the victory throughout a 19-hour raid that would wind up having repercussions that are felt far and wide throughout the Destiny universe. Well done to Clan Redeem, and thanks so much to Glad who joined us on the podcast last week. That race was definitely one for the ages. But after that, we get to learn a little bit more about the incoming Crucible game mode, Breakthrough. Here's what Bungie had to say. Starting Tuesday, September 25th, the new Crucible game mode, Breakthrough, will become available to all players of Destiny 2. There will also be new maps that were created to complement this game type. Here's a quick overview of how Breakthrough works. At the beginning of each round, players will fight to capture a central zone. Once the zone is captured, your team will deploy the Breaker, as players work to deploy their breaker, the zone can be contested, resulting in an epic tug of war between the two teams. Once the breaker is captured, it will be used to assault and hack the enemy team's vault. If you can hack the enemy team's vault, you win the round. If you fail to hack the enemy team's vault within the round time limit, you lose. If you're in the process of hacking the enemy team's vault when time runs out, you will enter sudden death until you either hack the vault or the enemy removes all of your progress. First team to win three rounds of this will take the match. Breakthrough will first be available as the weekly featured playlist for the week of September 25th. Then, it will be added to the competitive playlist starting on October 2nd. Owners of Destiny 2 Forsaken may begin to play Breakthrough in private matches on September 25th as well. And there we go, that is a quick rundown of the Breakthrough game mode. We actually got to see some of this with the Game Informer coverage we had in previous months. We actually got to see a full game of Breakthrough. It looks like a really interesting new competitive mode. So I'm excited to test that out when the weekly featured playlist pops up next week on the 25th. But more importantly than new game modes, we're getting some new PvP maps to go along with it. And we get a great look at some of them here. The maps that you'll be seeing within the Breakthrough game mode are Equinox, Firebase Echo, which we got to see on a previous Bungie livestream that showed off kind of some of the sandbox changes. The Citadel, which takes place within the Dreaming City. And finally, of course, Convergence, which for those of you who have been playing Iron Banner, you've probably noticed this is the remake of the classic D1 PvP map, Pantheon. It's great, and Convergence is also going to be available as a breakthrough map next week. Additionally, players on PlayStation 4 will also have access to the map Gambler's Ruin. This is a map taking place along the Tangled Shore, and it's got kind of the same sort of feel as the Gambit map, Kel's Grave. Careful with the pits and walk-offs on this one. But there we go, Guardians. You're going to have yourself a new Crucible game mode starting next week on the 25th. But speaking of competitive game modes, we're also getting a Gambit free trial starting on Friday, September the 21st and ending on Sunday, September the 23rd. If you're a Guardian who owns Destiny 2 but does not own Forsaken, you're going to get an opportunity to play through the Gambit game mode all weekend. Which is awesome, considering the Gambit game mode is one of the best additions that came along with Forsaken. 
That's not where the benefits end. If you're looking for some pure PvP actions without having to bank moats for the Drifter, Lord Jax is going to be your man this weekend. Because we are getting a double Valor weekend starting at 10 a.m. Pacific time on September 21st and ending at 10 a.m. Pacific time on September 25th. So from this Friday to next Tuesday, you are going to have double Valor in the Crucible. If you're somebody who's been trying to complete the Crucible seasonal quest line to get yourself the Redrix's broadsword, you know somewhere along that quest line, you have to reset your Valor rank a couple times. This weekend is going to be a great opportunity to make some progress towards that. Double Valor is going to be available in all Crucible playlists, including Iron Banner, so get out there and have some fun. Now, that's pretty much all of the biggest bits of information that were contained within this week's TWAP. There really wasn't too much there at all, but there is one thing I had to bring up. We've had like four hotfixes over the past week or two which is of course far more than we usually get in such a short period of time. There's been a lot of crazy things going on with like weekly resets and all kinds of bugs that Bungie devs have been working tirelessly to fix. And I'm certainly someone who appreciates that. There was one mention within this week's swap that I thought everybody would really appreciate. And that was surrounding a very certain heavy weapon, a very certain grenade launcher. Well, I am here to tell you it's not just some crazy conspiracy theory. Turns out you actually might be right. Here's what they had to say. Since the launch of Destiny 2 Forsaken, we have heard player feedback regarding the aggressive drop rates of the Edge Transit Grenade Launcher. Our investigation has confirmed that this weapon is dropping more frequently than intended, and we are pursuing a fix for a future update. Remember, Guardians, you're not crazy if the Edge Transit conspiracy theory is actually true. But that's going to be it for this week's TWAB. Some great information in here. I love that we're getting a new game mode in just a couple days. And the fact that Double Valor is starting tomorrow virtually ensures that I'm going to be spending my entire weekend shotgun aping with the best of them. And I hope you are too. But those are the biggest bits of news from this week's TWAB and those are my thoughts on them. Be sure to leave me yours down in the comment section below. Are you excited for the new breakthrough game mode? How did you feel about the race for worlds first? Leave us your thoughts down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like and make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. But that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.